uh, Quezon City Mayor, uh, Joy, Mayor Joy Belmonte, uh, who was uh, uh, saying that her uh, vaccination rate of 84% was unsatisfactory. And I was just telling her it's a very good number and we should congratulate her for uh, having managed to do that. Now we call upon her again and many of the and all the local government units to uh, bring uh, those who are in uh, the, the uh, vulnerable category. Hindi ko na lang, hindi ko na lang sasabihin yung mga may edad kasi kasama na ako dun. So, uh, but uh, back to uh, and, and encourage all of them to get this uh, to get this bivalent vaccine. We have been praying that the COVID-19 pandemic will soon be over, and uh, in a way, our prayers have been answered because the incidence of uh, COVID-19 uh, amongst our populace, especially since the vaccines came into play, have uh, certainly decreased. And even the symptoms that we suffer are no longer as severe as they were in the, with the original onset of uh, COVID-19. And then coming on to the Delta and the Omicron uh, variants, uh, we have seen slowly, slowly, slowly that this danger has gone away, uh, has almost completely gone away. However, these new variants force us to once again re-examine what it is that we can do to help protect our populace. And that is why we are now here today to highlight this extremely important uh, program, once again, vaccination program, which we are uh, going to have to institute. Because although the general populace and this, uh, the general populace uh, the symptoms have lessened, hospitaliz hospitalizations have lessened, even the incidence of mortality has lessened. However, there is a very distinct, distinct group that is highly uh, vulnerable to these new variants, and that is what we are vaccinating for. And those, that, that vulnerable group are those with severe comorbidities and with those who have, uh, who are a little on the, uh, senior, uh, senior uh, se our senior citizens. So all of this, and so we must not let our guard down. Uh, although we, the rest, of the, uh, the rest of society, the other sectors of our society that uh, uh, have tried to move on and say this, the emergency is over, and certainly in a way we can, certainly, we can say, say that that is the case. However, uh, it is not over completely, and that is why we should not be complacent, and that is why we institute programs like this, which continue to seek to protect our vulnerable populace, our vulnerable sectors of our populace, and that particular demographic in this case is that of the elderly. Thank you for watching Politico TV. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos.